Hey guys, Travis Gillespie here. Today we're working with variables and expressions and uh, have a table drawn up here and we're asked to solve the expression six times y. And uh, looking at this expression here, I notice the multiplication symbol kind of looks like an x. So let's go ahead and fix this and there's a couple of ways that you can fix this. I'm gonna actually just change colors real quick. One way you can fix it is, is just make the symbol look like another multiplication symbol. So I could uh, create a star, an asterisk here, or I can change the entire expression up and, and what I'm gonna do is just rewrite it so that it looks a little bit more neat. So I'm going to write uh, 6 times y, but I'm going to make it look a little bit different. So I, I'm going to write 6. I could use an operation here, but since I have a variable that it's being multiplied by, I can uh, just make it look nice and neat and put the two together. So I have the constant leading, and it's uh, being multiplied by the variable. So let's go ahead and I'm going to actually evaluate this expression 6 times y. And in order to find out what value y is equal to, or what value to plug in for y, all I have to do is look in uh, the column over here. I see that y can be uh, 6, it can be 10, or 11. And I'm going to substitute these three values in for the expression. I just want to change pen colors. So in this first cell here, notice it's, it's pretty large. And, and when you're creating your tables, you might want to make these cells large because you'll have multiple steps sometimes that you have to work through in order to evaluate an expression. But now uh, let's just write it down. I have 6 times y. And in this case, I'm going to substitute 6 in for y. So 6 in for y here. So it's really 6 times 6. Now notice I'm putting parentheses around this second 6 because I'm going to multiply 6 times 6. I could have used a, a different set of operations, but just know when you put two numbers together, when they're being multiplied together, you need to plug that operation back in. Earlier, I, I didn't use the operation because I had a number and a variable being multiplied together. Now I have to plug that operation back in, and we can solve the problem from here. So 6 times y, well 6 times, or 6 times 6 in this case, is 36. So 36 is the answer and I can box this information up. Let's go on to the next problem. So this time we're gonna multiply six times, six times 10. So substitute 10 in for y, six times 10, and six times 10 will give me a value of 60. And then box my answer up. And finally, six times 11. So 6 times 11 will give a value of 66. So let's write that down here. 6 times 11 is 66, and now I can box that final answer up.